my loves! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hi, hello -y. my name is Loey, and I knew we'd be back for a Children of the Woods update. I just didn't think it would be so soon. If you missed my last video about this, basically there is a cult by the name of Children of the Woods that has seemingly sprouted up with a social media presence on TikTok. And they seem to have found a target in one popular horror TikToker by the name of Morg's Hauntings. Morg was originally contacted by the account back in December of 2023 when they asked if she would be willing to help them get the word out about a documentary that they were making that was going to expose this cult in South Carolina. However, this would end in the creepiest way imaginable, with the account sending morgue coordinates, her going to them, and then coming face to face with what I believe was the cult itself. Now, if you want to see all that go down, part one is linked in the description box for you guys. I definitely recommend giving it a watch before you watch this video, because we are, we're like in the end game now, folks. Like something fishy is a brewing, and I could not be more excited and terrified. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that my Live Laugh Lowy Lane and Sorry I Ghosted merch is still available on the Merch Labs website now until March 4th. I was going to end orders on the 28th of February, but a lot of you guys were asking me if I could extend, so I asked my friends at Merch Labs. They said yes. So you can grab your Live Laugh Lowy Lane or Sorry I Ghosted merch for a little bit longer. I'll have a link in the description box for you guys. I was not expecting the response to the merch that we got. You guys have been so excited and so supportive of it, and I just cannot thank you enough. It makes me really happy that you guys um, like things like this, and honestly, since this one has done so well, maybe I'll release new designs in the future. But for now, these designs are going away on March 4th, so snag them while you can. With that being said, Let's get into the TikToks. Now, in my last video, we all knew that something was coming, some kind of big reveal was happening on February 26th. And on February 22nd, the Children of the Woods account posted this video with a song that was clearly playing backwards. I'll play a little snippet of it if I can, if it doesn't get copyrighted. Now, the people in that video are the TikToker Morg's Hauntings, as well as her husband. And when I saw this, I started to second guess everything I said in my original video. I completely started to second guess that this was an ARG at all. And I had this moment of panic where I was like, oh my god, like, is she safe? Does she know about this? The song that's playing in reverse here is the song Help Me Lord to Stand by the original Chuck Wagon Gang, which is a Christian song inspired by the verse Galatians 5 1, for freedom Christ has set us free stand firm. This really seemed to solidify that this absolutely was like a religious thing. It, I mean, it's a cult. Before this, I don't know if we've really had the cult acting like a cult, if that makes any sense. All that we've known so far of the Children of the Woods is that all of these people went missing back in like 1999 and this cult had something to do with it. But now we're getting kind of like a, a peek into the religious aspect of it, right? Shortly after this clip of Morg and her husband was posted, she did address it on her TikTok. And I don't know if she was expecting it to go so viral, but this video ended up getting like 2.1 million views just at the time of recording this and it was posted like six days ago. So a few days ago on here there was a video uploaded of me and my husband. It looks like it was taken through the curtains in our living room and we're sitting on the couch. I think I was coloring on my iPad or doing something on my iPad and he was on his phone. I am no stranger to the account that posted it. At the beginning of the year, I received a few messages from this account asking me to help them get a documentary out. They're trying to expose some things about some stuff going on in South Carolina that's been covered up. I trusted them that that's all they were trying to do. They gave me coordinates. I followed them thinking they were going to give me information that wasn't safe to, you know, exchange over the phone. And that was not the case. They claim they're just angry at me because I brought along my husband when they told me to go alone but I think they're angry at me because I got away. A few weeks ago, I started receiving some notes on my door, on my car, started seeing someone in like a hood 
frequently around me and I didn't think it was really related uh, but I guess it is because obviously they're here if they're filming or they have someone here that like sends them stuff. I have no idea. I didn't plan on addressing this at all, but a few of you seem really freaked out that I'm not talking about it. So this is me talking about it. Let me be so loud and clear. I'm not taking down the videos. Clearly something's going on that you don't want out and that's no longer my problem. They're staying up. I don't care and I'm not scared. And that's it. That's, that's all I need to say about that. Um, yeah. So we have gone now from this supposed filmmaker, whoever's making this documentary, to expose the children of the woods, like the whole cult, now to whoever this is, whoever's running this account, whoever is in charge of like whatever the hell is going on here, is now antagonizing and literally stalking Morg. And they did warn her that this would happen. Um, in my last video, I talked a little bit about how after she had gotten away in the original incident when she went to the coordinates sent to her by the account, they ended up messaging her after and saying, take down the videos or else, and then they sent her her own address. So it seems like this was the plan all along. I don't know what they expected to happen, but when Morg did not comply with their demands, they pulled up. And then on February 26th, as promised, more information came out about the documentary. When the account released a full trailer for it. Now, I have not watched it yet. I actually have my headphones here and I wanted to watch it with all of you. Now, when going to thechildrenofthewoods.com, we can see that familiar upside down red cross that Morg was seeing in her TikToks. And it reads, a secretive group known as the Children of the Woods has gained infamy for their malicious activities involving kidnapping and sacrificial rituals deep within the remote forest. This sinister group operates under the cover of darkness, preying on unsuspecting individuals who enter their territory, turning the peaceful woodland into a frightening setting for their evil deeds. While cases of missing persons date back to the 1980s, the most well-known incident occurred in January 1999 in York, South Carolina, where five people disappeared. This dark history has been largely ignored or covered up, but filmmaker Jake Robinson has recently uncovered it and plans to shed light on the truth hidden within the woods. Below this statement, there are a lot of like really creepy photos, like this tent with an upside down cross again on it. We have like what looks like far off footage of people walking through the woods. This really dark one, I don't really know what that is. Um, a girl like looking into a camera that she maybe doesn't know is there recording her. Um, and then a, a, a red, a red tree, a red tree. I wonder what that could be. As well as like this Polaroid of somebody like with their mouth taped from the property of York County Sheriff's Department. More creepy photos of the woods. Uh, these all look like they're actually from the Sheriff's Office of York. This abandoned car, somebody in a cloak. Another shot of the abandoned car. I feel like the car is going to be important. So then there's the trailer, which I'm going to go ahead and watch with you now. If we never should have come here. In January 1999, a group of five disappeared after they went into the woods of York, South Carolina for a camping trip. Their story is being told 25 years later. Jesus. The screaming. What the fuck? What the fuck? where are you? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Chloe! Oh my god, it sounds like they're saying Loey. I know they're not, but. Chloe! <laughs> Every time they say Chloe, it sounds like Loey. I'm so. Chloe! Chloe! Chloe, hang on! Hang on! <laughs> the Children of the Woods. Oh my god. Okay, and of course the website. Wait, I wasn't expecting them to say a name. Hi, I'm Jake Robinson. What you just watched was the teaser trailer for my fifth and final found footage film, Children of the Woods. I've done movies with the Wendigo, Aliens, I've done an anthology movie, I've even explored Bigfoot. The Wendigo is currently released on most streaming platforms like Screenbox, Apple TV, Tubi, Roku, Voodoo, and many more. I'm excited to share this world I've been creating for the last seven months. It doesn't just stop at film. Let me explain. 
On March 12th, we have a free-to-play game releasing on Steam titled Children of the Woods, The Lost Tape. You play a detective that discovers the camcorder with the footage that you will see later once the film is released. It looks great! Also, later this year, we're releasing a documentary titled Within the Woods. It explores more of the cult and the history behind them. It has interviews with friends and family of the missing individuals that you soon will get to know once the film is out. Our main goal for this film is to get it released in theaters. We want it on as many screens as we possibly can. And we need your help for that. We need you to like, share, spread the word. We're on various social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram. Whoa, what was that? Okay, not the children of the woods literally haunting me. What was that? I was literally just watching his plans for the movie and it sounded like somebody like tapped against my window really loud. That's actually so creepy because as I'm going to tell you in a minute, I talked to the cult earlier today. That's so weird. Okay, that was really, really, really creepy. Um, I'm gonna stop watching the trailer now because I kind of don't want to have headphones in my ears anymore. Um, that was so weird. So let's go back to the website. Right below the roadmap and the teaser, there's the missing. And if I click on these, we can see the missing persons posters. We have missing Chloe Coleman, age 27, 5 feet, 105 pounds, blue eyes, red hair. Oh, there's a number! Wait, should I try the number? I need to Google the number. I need to Google the number before I, I, I try it, because what if it's like an actual number? Okay, and then the other missing poster is for Travis Williams, age 27, height 6'3", weight 235, eyes brown, hair brown, um, and both of them were last seen camping close to the York Woods region in York County. Oh, there's more! Okay, so then, yes, and there were multiple people. I did know it was more than two, but... Okay, Keith Barnes we have here, and then we have Luna Grace and Alex Anderson. Have you seen them? Can't say I have, but I feel like I need to call this number now. Okay, the number comes up as a transportation service. I kind of want to try it anyway. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, okay, okay, I'm gonna dial it. I'm gonna dial it. Are you ready? Oh my god, I have chills. Ew. <laughs> it sounds so much more. It sounds. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need that not to sound like somebody screaming, Loey. I don't have any information. Sorry to say, just filming a video. Uh, okay, love ya. <laughs> God, it's so detailed, I love it so much. So I know the lighting is different. It's the middle of the night, actually. It's like 2 a.m. as I'm recording this. I ended up playing this horror game called Kinito Pet with my friend Susie all night. And while we were playing, I was recording for YouTube, I got a text message from the number I called. And it just said, the truth is within the woods. I felt like I should respond, um, so I just asked, how do I find it? To which it replied, go into the woods alone. They will find you if you're patient enough. Creepy, creepy, so freaking creepy. Anyway, back to the video. Just wanted to let you know, the number is real. And if you call it, you might get a text message. I wonder if that will end up changing later. Like right now it's the same like um, sound snippet as the teaser, but I wonder if later it'll end up being something else. And then we see the Children of the Woods lost tape. You can put it on your Steam wish list. I will be, and I will certainly be playing it on March 12th. Then we see the Haunting of Morgan, the ARG, and then we see little old Lo sitting there on the home page. The only other video I really have to show you is this one of just a stationary person with the upside down cross, um, I don't want to call it a logo, but that's almost what it seems like, the cult's like branding. And it was just a promo to say, you know, visit thechildrenofthewoods.com, but 
it looks really, really, really creepy. Like if that's the mask, if that's the look of these members of the cult, they just look really creepy. I'm loving how this looks. I'm not gonna lie, when we started talking about Children of the Woods, I of course was very excited, but I'm so much more excited now, like seeing snippets of what we're getting. I can't wait to play the Steam game when it comes out. I'm so excited about that. But in terms of the movie, I really thought when we first started looking into this, that it might end up being like a cut and dry Blair Witch type of movie. You know, we never see the entity, we never see the cult, and it would just be like some shaky footage of kids running around the woods. But I'm so much more excited now seeing what this is all about. I'm going to be even more excited on March 12th. The idea of having a free to play game leading up to your film is just like incredible. Like the production that goes into that. Now, earlier today, I reached out to the Children of the Woods Instagram account because we're mutuals now, we're besties. And I just said, hey, hope you don't mind my reaching out. Just wanted to let you know a follow-up video to my original video on Children of the Woods is coming this weekend. To which they replied, the truth is within the woods, my child. And within the woods, that truth is. And I'm ready to go deeper, okay? I am so excited. It has been such a long time since I feel like an ARG really captured me like this. You guys know when I like them, I like them. Back in like 2019 when Ash Vlogs came out, I was like not sleeping. I was staying up all night thinking, talking, breathing, living Ash Vlogs. And I feel like this could be that new obsession for me. I'm so pleased to have inadvertently supported the project just by talking about it here on my channel. And after hearing a bit about the filmmaker's story, I'd really love it if you guys wanted to help him and I also realize his dream of helping this come to theaters. Go give him a follow on Children of the Woods on TikTok and Instagram. Support the film, wishlist the game. I will probably end up streaming that with you guys on the 12th whenever it drops. But let me know down below how you guys are feeling about this project. I'm really, really, really excited. It seems so cool and different. I do want to say that tap on the window has not, I am not in collaboration with Children of the Woods, okay? I still don't know what that was. Maybe, maybe, maybe the cult is real and maybe it is coming to get me. But I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. A special thank you to my subscribers who are members of the channel. If you want to get extra channel memberships, including members only videos, updates, polls to help me decide on future content, you can click that little join button somewhere around the screen. We would love to have you. An extra special thank you to my VIP loves for their continued and generous support of the channel. I love and appreciate you all very, very much. I love you all very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!